All right. Uh, okay. So first off, uh, do you have or have you had teenage drivers? Yes, I have. Okay, and they were, they're. You have like three kids, right? Or four kids? Four. So I've four children to drive. So you. And I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you teach them at home? How did you How did you go about that? Did you do driver's ed, or you yes, did that at home did. training? The first, the first three children did driver's training through school. You didn't have like a driver's ed at school. Oh, so the public school. One, public school. Okay. It was free. Where, where did? Can you tell they me where went they to went? Sanger High School. Sanger. Okay. Because yeah, I called Sanger. 12 high schools this morning trying to find out who had drivers. I know there's only like two schools. They don't do it anywhere. Yeah, that's that's what I, a consensus I got. Yeah. And the last one that did that was John, and he's 20 now. And so he was like 15 when he did the program. Not long after him, they cut out the program. Then they did driver's ed in a box where you go yeah. online and you sign up for your child to do... Like the parent is the teacher, yeah, yeah. And every time we would drive, I'd chart, you know, where we went. So went in. that was at the home, the DMV thing at home. DMV at home. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I get into next. Um, oh, but when they started driving, they did the they did the public school thing, the the yeah. course. So how did you feel about them? Somebody else teaching them, and it was marvelous. So you, you thought you thought that was a good idea? Oh, a hundred percent better. Okay. So you had faith in the instructor. Absolutely. Okay. So, Plus, they were able to go on public grounds and drive without, you know, and they had sure, enough. I'm not sure if they had their permit yet when they did that, but they would drive and they got to go in different areas and they got to learn things and they took them out, where I didn't, they can't do that with me until they had their permit, see, and, and they, they got had them things like parallel parking, yes, yes, which, Lord have mercy, I can't do very well myself, and so by the time I got them and they were done with the program, they were pretty much okay, I was very happy with that. Okay. And they had a different vehicle, so they can, if they crashed, yes! it wasn't your fault. Yes! <laughs> can I say how sore my feet were from pushing on a brake that wasn't there? Wasn't there wasn't that, yep. My mom did the exact same thing when I started ah, driving. Ah, I panic, and my big thing is covering up my face, you know, which I did with my daughter, and I didn't do it with my sons because, guess what? They had more practice before they had to sit with me. Maybe that's why. That's, that's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay. since they don't do public schools anymore, so you have to do that home thing. Yeah. Would you kind of, okay, say they went to the public schools and got training, whatever, so if they had some kind of device that would uh, kind of monitor the driving, so like, so they're done with the course and they say, oh, the instructor's like passing, so maybe you don't, you know, fully uh, agree with that or you just want to kind of see where they're at, what if you if you had a device that would kind of sh- help show you that, um keep monitoring their driving and you can see how they're actually Why forming on the road by themselves. You, you think you would be interested in something like that? Absolutely. As a parent? Absolutely. As, okay. That's good. Yeah. That's what we're trying, to, we're trying to do here is trying to create something like that. I think it's a marvelous idea because just their perception on, they don't know what's going on on the right side of their vehicle. Do you know how many times I almost went into a ditch with my daughter because she doesn't didn't have the experience to know I don't know, but if you had a device that would kind of say, okay, she's got this under control, then I'd say I'd take her on the freeway. Like I said, took her on the freeway, bloody nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. She wasn't ready, and how do you know if she's ready or not until you go on the freeway? Yeah, definitely. It was like, but if there's a device to measure yes. her ability, you could go out in the country for a long time and then say, okay, kind of progress. now we're ready, we'll go the next step. Okay, so what kind of uh, yeah. what kind of features would you look, do you look for when... Say when they got finished driving or they're still driving, you're driving with them, you're riding with them. What kind of features did you look for, like, to say that that was safe or that was unsafe? Like, In like, each different thing that they did, you mean? Like, to me, when they come up to the stop sign, how fast did they yeah, get up exactly. to the stop sign? Yeah, exactly. Different, different stuff like accelerating right. too fast, stopping too quickly, or changing a lane way too fast. Did exactly. they, they kind of look behind? Is a is something, I think... If there's some way you can judge that so they know exactly how to do it so they're not just like bingo bango in front of a truck. Hello? Or another thing is the stop sign thing kills me. To me, you slow down way before the stop and then you stop. You don't go psh, bang, you're stopped, Instantly which is stopped, kind yeah. of more the boy thing than the girl thing. Yeah. I hate to say it, my boys were awful about that. Yeah, okay, slow down now, slow down now, slow down now. And, you're like and, jerking you, and they just dead stop and screech it. That could do another thing. The um, how fast do you do a right hand turn? You actually do need to come to some boys stop before you turn to the right. It the stop sign is not a yield to go. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had something that would say ding 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 ding, 
no, you should stop. I don't know how you would do that, but that's a marvelous idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Win-win. So, would you, would you, if you went through this again, yes. and you knew this was out there, would you kind of see, would you kind of... have to do it again. I have three more kids. I mean, they're going through drivers? They're still little. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're 11, 12, Okay, awesome, 15. awesome. So, you had, you experienced, and then you're going through it again. Yeah. So, when they do drivers that stay at home or something, yeah. uh, you could, would you kind of see this advice to complement a uh, driver's ed program at home? Absolutely. I hate that they took us from having a driver's ed that's nice at the school. And it was a marvelous program. I hate they cut it. I'd even pay for that if they want to bring it back. To mom, cold turkey, start them from scratch at home. It's a nightmare. We don't have experience with this. Honestly, we don't. So if there's something else in place that can help us not be so, ah, you know, panicky, Yeah. it would be good, especially since I have three more boys. So, yeah, I don't know. I would love it. Okay. Um... Like on a GPS, you know how it tells you when you're going too fast? Yeah. Ding, 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 slow down. That's another feature? Speeding? Something like that. Okay. Speeding. When they come to a stop, oh, you stopped too fast. That would be good. That okay. would actually be fun. <laughs> I'd love it. Absolutely. Um, do, your, uh, do your kids own smartphones? Do you own a smartphone? No. no. Okay. Sorry, four. <laughs> okay, I know. Seven children. <laughs> I, that, it's, no I know. Money. Exactly, no. Okay. Um, I think that's it for now. That's it? Okay, yep. good. Well, I think that's